The short rows I'm going to show you now are what I call slip wrap slip or SWS short rows. This is the wrap and turn method. There are there is the abbreviation SWS, which stands for slip, wrap and turn, and slip. And then the other abbreviation is knit one, pick up wrap, or purl one, pick up wrap. It depends on which side you're working on. And there is an element of having to deal with the orientation of the stitch when you get to it. So let's take a peek at this. So I've knitted six stitches. I'm going to slip the seventh stitch. I'm going to bring the yarn in between the needles. Now I'm going to turn and I'm going to slip this stitch to the right needle. It's not worked. The yarn is now wrapped around that stitch. I bring it back into position and I'm going to purl back because I was I started on a right side row. So now when I come to that wrapped stitch, which will be my seventh stitch, I have to pick up that wrap and get it onto the back of the fabric, the same way we did in the other short row methods. So what I do is I just go underneath it and I like knit the stitch like that. So you can see that that shoves that yarn to the back, anchors it with the stitch, and I'm ready to go forward. But it takes a little practice to do that. And so let me show you what we want to do is to bring this up to the needle. But if you do it like that, you're going to get a bar across. So what you need to do is to slip that stitch, pull that up, slip them both back. And now it actually looks a great deal like what we saw in the German short rows. And I'm just going to knit that together. And that got you the same result as I got by just going in underneath. So let me do a couple more stitches and let's do this again. So we're going to slip our stitch, bring the yarn between our needles, turn over with the yarn now in back, still between the needles. I slip to my right needle and bring the yarn into position to work backwards. So I'm going to knit all the way back because I want to show you what that stitch looks like that I picked up. And you'll want to look at my written instructions because I tell you how to handle the stitch when you come to it. So here you are, that's the stitch that I short rode. You can barely see it. You can see this wrap and turn, slip wrap slip. And if I work back to that point, I will show you once again how to pick that up. So what I want to do is to get that stitch and then pick that up and then slip them both into position and knit two together. And there you go. You can barely see that once you block. They'll both look lovely. You can already see this one barely shows.